question for you. What do serenity, gratitude, and resiliency all have in common? Well, this is kind of a curious question because these three pieces actually have many good things in common, but I want to drive one in particular thing home. You know, so resiliency, serenity, gratitude, states of mind, states of being, you know, these have been real essential strategies, very vital tools in our toolbox over this past term, I don't know, very difficult space of the global crisis. And so hopefully many of us have been challenged or found ways to harness these three amazing tools. You know, the practice of gratitude and hardship that we can find space to be grateful and to find some sort of good, what I am receiving and what I am able to give this gratitude space, even in times of difficulty. Resiliency is the ability to rise up, to overcome like a phoenix from ashes, right? That resilient spirit has been vital on the roller coaster of this global crisis and all the trauma and the difficulty and the push and pull and open and close and vaccine, no vaccine, vaccine stuff that we've gone through. And then of course, serenity. And serenity is just a beautiful space of accepting the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can. It's, it's harnessing the gratitude. It is being mindful of our resiliency and experiencing this very spiritual, soulful peace of here I am, a be here now, and some sort of version of spiritual happiness, which is something I'm kind of putting together in my brain. I don't quite understand that yet. So what do these things have in common? These states of mind, these ways of being, a great many things. They feed into each other. They're vital to each other. What I like to notice is they all lead to and require celebration. We're leading into a space of respite. And I'm hoping that it's a long respite from what has been awful. The global trauma has been awful. It's been a hardship. And as we lead into this space of, hey, something good is here, some relief, let's also make some space to celebrate. Leaning into our gratitude, our serenity, and our resiliency to have vision, to celebrate in a way that supports us, supports our people, and ripples into those around us, okay? So vision, this is it. I want you guys to celebrate. Homework, celebrate. Homework is to celebrate. Paint a picture, a snapshot in your mind, if you will, envision a celebration for you, for your people. And then the second piece is, and I know people are all sorts of ideas about social media and appropriateness and falseness and blah, blah, blah. But hey, you're celebrating, your face is smiling, you're rippling into your people, please post, share pictures. Let the people who look at your life and care about your life see your celebration so that you can ripple even further. This is good, this is good. Celebration is an essential piece right now. So blessings to you guys. I, I wish you well maybe a slice of cake, a little bubbly, good music, maybe a hug. I don't know, is that gonna be allowed? But some good, good stuff. Steak, if you eat steak. Some good stuff to think about. Oh, my wheels are turning here. I better say goodbye and just, just go with all this vision of celebration that's unfolding. Celebration to you. <laughs>